So today was the first of several days of hearings following a recent Southern Methodist University report which found a wastewater well drilled by ExxonMobil's XTO unit as well as one belonging to Enervest Operating Company caused earthquakes in the Dallas-Fort Worth area from late 2013 through early 2014. So regulators idled those wells and now they're trying to figure out what exactly is next. So this is the latest chapter in what's become a very contentious debate as oil and gas production has soared. Kansas, Colorado, Ohio, most dramatically Oklahoma, have experienced an upsurge in earthquakes. So in Texas, the USGS data shows that before 2008, the state averaged two to three quakes magnitude 2.5 or greater per year. In 2010, that jumped to 17, then 49 in 2013, and 37 earthquakes so far this year. So there's a growing body of research, including SMUs, that argues that it's not the fracking process that causes quakes, but the way that the companies uh, build, drill some wells to dispose of the toxic wastewater after the fracking. So today, XTO officials testified that the spike in seismic activity was naturally occurring and that the 30 plus earthquakes in question happened two and a half miles below where wastewater is injection, injected, that the well is mechanically sound. Next week, Enervest will also face the commission. And after that, regulators are going to decide whether to close those wells for good. Now, if they do, this will mark the first time Texas has held energy companies accountable for earthquakes, and that would essentially set a precedent for other states grappling with this issue as well, potentially leading to big ramifications for shale producers. Melissa, back over to you. All right, Morgan Brennan, thank you. So how big a problem could this be for big oil? Pavel Malkinov is an energy analyst at Raymond James. He joins us on the Fast Line. Pavel, great to have you with us. The arguments being made by those XTO officials that, that the spike in seismic activity is naturally occurring sounds like a feeble argument. What's your take? Because you don't seem to think it's a big deal. Well, of course, I'm not a scientist. Um, there are research studies, credible studies, that draw a linkage between uh, fracking, or more precisely, the, the water disposal, um, and an increase in, in seismic activity. Uh, while you know, I can't you know, confirm or deny the conclusions of those studies, that, that is what they say. However, it's important to uh, figure, uh, sort of realize what these so-called earthquakes are. They are not what most people would consider earthquakes in, in a common sense, which is things that you know, damage property and potentially get people killed. These are low-level seismic events, tremors might be a better description, um, that are often you know, Richter 2.0, 3.0 on the scale. Uh, normally, people do not even feel that. It takes sensitive machines, seismographs, to actually take notice. So they may observe an increase in seismic activity, but it's not something in day-to-day -day life that, that mm -hmm. people would, would normally feel. You know, it doesn't you know, cause, cause homes to collapse or, or people right. to get hurt. It, it's none of those things. So when policymakers think about the issue, you know, naturally they, they should look at the research um, and you know, put it in perspective. These are uh, low-level seismic events that do not cause damage or, you know, right. or hurt life. 